Good evening and welcome inside the Thornton Gymnasium here at Lancaster Court. I'm Bill Downing getting ready to carry you through tonight's NAC semifinals here live from Lancaster Court. Thornton Gymnasium as I try to get this sound corrected. Thank you for joining us here in athletics at Aurora.edu. A trip to the championship is on the line tonight. Thank you from wherever you're watching around the globe tonight. Hopefully you're ready for some semi-final men's volleyball action. We know that the number one seeded Dominican University Stars are hosting the number four MSOE Raiders tonight. And here it's the number six IIT Scarlet Hawks after upsetting the number three seeded Benedictine University, taking on your number two second seeded Aurora University Spartans. Now we're ready to get things going. It's gonna be Elijah Johnson, 5'9 sophomore out of Fort Worth, Texas. Gonna get things started. Looks like there's maybe an issue with the netting, so they're getting that fixed. Take a look at the starters. Elijah Johnson, Alec Donald will be the initial libero. The second one will be Zachary Buss. Paul Henderson, Grant Cooper, Riley Late, and Jelani Komodo. Head coach Mike Oswald in his second season. And we're ready to go. We'll get the Spartan starters right after this. Not off. 
And then a mistake right off the bat. Jackson Van Egan, the 6'3 senior middle blocker from Hubertus, Wisconsin. Gets the Scarlet Hawks on the board, 1-0. And a healthy Sebastian Suzuki, who missed last match due to an illness. He gives the Spartans a side out. Mateo Sherosh, 6'4", sophomore outside hitter from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, to serve for Aurora. This one kept alive and fisted over. McClellan, we'll be talking a lot about him tonight. That one tipped up at the net, IT. A little discombobulated. Here's McClellan. Partially blocked up at the net by late. And there's a kill from the back line by Grant Cooper. 6'3", senior outside from Laguna, Nagol, California. Riley Late, 6'1", junior outside from Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, serving for IIT. And McClellan goes wide on the near side. Give a big shout out to my good friend Eric Willowite. SID at Illinois Institute of Technology. And there's the first service error. Side out Spartans. Two serving three. Sebastian Suzuki, the 6'5 freshman middle blocker from Riverside, Illinois. Went to Riverside Brookfield High School, home of the Bulldogs. And that was a heck of a shot there by Paul Henderson. Sophomore from Selicum, Washington. Sherosh puts it too far over the net. Fight for it at the net, pretty much a stalemate. Here's Carroll, Dwyer, and McCormick. John McCormick, the senior from Naperville, Illinois, gives the Spartans the side out three, serving four. Luke Dwyer, six foot freshman setter from Oak Lawn, Brother Rice High School. There's a reverse, and their key is going to be. Paul Henderson here tonight. Their outsides are strong, and that is exactly what defeated Benedictine. Paul Henderson back to serve up by two, five, three here in set one. Sherosh, Dwyer, McCormick. Hit off the hand of Donald and kept alive by the Scarlet Hawks. And that one falls right in front of Sherosh. Scarlet Hawks doubling up the Spartans here early on, 6-3. What a powerful serve there by Henderson, and that one's out. the dig, Dwyer fighting for it, here's Carroll, nice dig there by Late, IT gets it over, Dwyer reverses it to McClellan, that one is in, first of many kills tonight for the sophomore from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, he's talking to his dad before the game, always enjoy talking to them. Carroll, not off, somehow keeps that one alive. Back to the outside, Dwyer McClellan, just over. Nice save there by Dwyer, good volley between these two. That one right into the net. Five serving seven now. to serve by McClellan. One point game now. The Spartans have clawed back. Six 
six, serving seven. That almost falls in there for an ace. Partially tipped at the net by McCormick and Carroll. Here's Carroll. Nice dig by Late. They'll reverse it to their powerhouse. Paul Henderson, the southpaw from the state of Washington. Eight, serving six. McClellan keeps that one alive. Sherosh out of sync. Back to a three-point lead, 9-6. Served by Cooper. Dwyer a little bit too far over for Sherosh, but the point counts. Sherosh got a hand on it. Side out Spartan, seven serving nine. Seven serving nine. A fight for it by Sherosh. Eight serving nine. Here's McCormick with the serve. Nicely done. Back over to the outside for late. Dwyer keeps it alive. McCormick sends it down range. Spartans will have to set up defensively. And there's a block by Suzuki and Sherosh. 9-7. Is your score. Here's McCormick with a kill. And an ace. Spartans up by one now, 10 9. McCormick with the serve. Spartans up by one here in set number one. That one just misses the end line. 10 10 here early in set number one of the NAC semifinals. A win here tonight by the Spartans will send them to their first ever championship. Here's McClellan, number two on the night. For the 6'9 sophomore outside hitter from Calgary, Alberta. Here's Carroll, freshman out of LaGrange, Illinois, Lions Township High School. Oh, Suzuki and Sherosh had it blocked up, but out of bounds. 11-11. Nice dig by Carroll. Here's Sherosh just inside the attack line. Kept the line by Cooper. Back to the outside. That was Henderson. Let's see what Sherosh can do here. He sends that one almost into the Raptors. And a block by Dwyer and Suzuki. Here's Sherosh. Sherosh again from the outside, count it. Mateo Sherosh back to serve. 12-12 is your score here early on. Good dig that time by Donald. That one sent too far down range by the Scarlet Hawks. Spartans up by one, 13-12. Both teams with their timeouts left. 
Here's the serve by Sherosh. That one came off his hand awkwardly and went out of bounds for a service error. Second one tonight by the Spartans. Riley late with the serve. Tied up 13 apiece. Here's Carroll. Good save there by Donald. Just beyond the attack line by late. Fight for it, Dwyer. Reverses it to their big man, Paul Henderson. 6'2 sophomore. Riley Late. Nonoff looks back. Suzuki. Back to the outside. Count it. Grant Cooper. Oh, they're going to say it was out of bounds, even though the line judge to my right called it in. Nathan Anderson, 5'9", junior defensive specialist out of Sugar Grove, Illinois. Caneland High School to serve. Knuckleball, there's a mistake, and McCormick almost made him pay, and he does. John McCormick with the kill. Spartans up 15-14. Well, you can't do it any better than that. Jackson Van Engen. 6'3", senior, made the Spartans pay. It's 15 apiece. A mistake at the net, and again, Jelani Komodo, 6'5", sophomore out of Alpharetta, Georgia, just on the outskirts of Atlanta. The kid is the real deal for sure. You cannot make a mistake with him at the net. They almost made it again. And this time, the block by Henderson and Komodo. Two-point lead for the Scarlet Hawks. 17-15, 17-15, the same IT team that dismantled the number three seeded Benedictine University Eagles. McClellan with his third kill gives a much needed side out for Aurora. Luke Dwyer back to serve. Spartans coming in 17-9 overall. IT 12 and 14. Komodo. Nice dig that time by Sherosh. Here's McClellan way out of bounds. And he, again, the court awareness to know not to go for the spike and just set it over. How about that? 17 apiece. Dwyer serving. Spartans hitting at a 143 hitting percentage, 185 for the Scarlet Hawks. Another nice set this time, and it rolls over on the tape, and Grant Cooper gets the kill. It's going to be his third team leader, believe it or not, and this is hard to believe, Paul Henderson. That kid is a powerhouse from the outside. You've got to stop him. And there he is with one of his major, major jump serves. This one goes to the... Scarlet Hawks, two-point lead, timeout Aurora. We'll step aside, Scarlet Hawks with a two-point lead here in the latter stages of set number one. Next semifinals here in athletics.aurora.edu. We'll have an update from Dominican right after this short break.
Timeout called by head coach Dan Ames. Who should be elected as coach of the year in the NAC. A ton of accolades coming out today. Josh McClellan and Alex Nonoff getting the first team selection for the NAC. Second team, Sebastian Suzuki as a freshman, an honorable mention. Connor Carroll also as a freshman. And McCormick. And that one will be a kill for McCormick. Update from Dominican in set one. MSOE with a four point lead, 2016. Reese Wyatrowski, 6 1 sophomore defensive specialist out of Libertyville, in to serve. There's a reverse to Henderson, not off. Reverse it to Carroll. Count it. Timeout at Dominican, MSOE up 21-16 in the first. Timeout, IIT, head coach Mike Oswald in his second season will call a timeout for the Scarlet Hawks. 19-19 here in set one. Timeout on the floor. You're watching the NAC semifinals live on athletics.aurora.edu. We'll be right back. Each team with a timeout left. I'd like to give a big shout out to my good friend, Mr. Eric Willowite, the SID at IIT. Here it's 1919. Matroski back to serve, looking to give the Spartans the lead back. It's been touch and go all set one so far. Hits the tape and rolls over. There's going to be a fight for it at the net. And Komodo wins that round this time, 2019. Head coach Doug Burchette at the helm of the Stars. That one put into the net. Here it's head coach Dan Ames. I tell you, these kids have bought into this system, understand what's expected, and the most important part, that coach Dan Ames told me, was these kids respect each other and the game. That's huge. Here's Carroll. That one kept alive and not going to be able to make it over. Oh, I thought that was four. Let's see if they find Suzuki. They'll look for Carroll again. Karen Suzuki had the block. But the kill that time goes to Riley late. 21 20. Jelani Komodo with the serve. Here's McClellan from beyond the attack line. Not off. First team all knack. Here's Sherosh. Partially deflected, 21-21. Like to thank everybody who's watching all over the globe tonight. I know that Josh McClellan's family, a large family and friends tuning in. And this time, not much on it, but just enough to get it over. Eli Sherman. Elijah Johnson, sophomore from Fort Worth, Texas. Defense, 
Nanoff with a nice easy dig. Here's Suzuki. Twenty-two twenty-two. Sheriff's with three kills, McCormick with three, McClellan with three. Sheriff's, nice serve that time. IT lining it up. Kept alive by Dwyer, fight for it at the net. Dwyer ready. Here's Carroll. Here's McClellan. Can they keep it between the ten as they do? A chance for the Spartans to take the lead. And Suzuki hits that one wide left. Last match, he was out due to an illness. He's back in full force here tonight. IIT leads by one, 23-22. That one hits the tape. Dwyer looking for McClellan. Number four. You know, we were talking Canadian Football League and the Calgary Stampede. That's exactly what Josh McClellan does every time he winds up. It's a stampede, and you better get out of the way. Here's Nathan Anderson. Easy set. Back to their big. McClellan with a huge block. Spartan set point. That's his fifth. Timeout, Scarlet Hawks. Spartans have set point, 24-23. The conclusion of set number one when we come back. You're watching the next semifinals live on athletics.aurora.edu. Anderson serving for set point and set one. Anderson taps it over, Spars with a chance. Who are they going to go to? McClellan. And the Spartans take set one, 25-23. An update from River Forest. MSOE takes set number one against the number one seeded Dominican University Stars. Starting off really good here for the Spartans. Set number two coming up next here on athletics.aurora.edu. You're watching the next semifinals.
teams will switch sides. One set to none in favor of the Spartans. Here in set number two. Spartans won set number one, 25, 23. Hitting percentage at 190 for Aurora, 175 for the visitors from Chicago. Mateo Sherosh with the serve. Nice dig that time by Late. And just like they did back in set number one, one of the Scarlet Hawks get out to a one to nothing lead. Late with the serve. The freshman from Riverside Brookfield lower in the boom, Sebastian Suzuki. 6-5 freshman. Hopefully he's fully recovered from his illness. He, he's looking good. Spartans with a chance to capitalize. Here's McClellan. Number six on the night for the first team all knack. I wouldn't be surprised you'll see some regional and national recognition for Josh. Suski puts that one into the net, knots it all up to a piece. Jackson Van Engen. Boy, McCormick has really come to play the last couple matches. That's his fourth kill. That kid is a beast, 6'6", six, six senior. I think he can play anything that requires contact. Hockey, football, lacrosse, big kid. He's the total package out there and it's good to see him flying high like he's doing. 3-3. Three, three. Paul Anderson back to serve to Southpaw. At the net, Dwyer, and it's going to be an attack error on the Spartans. Side out and the lead. Oh, excuse me, the lead. Here's Henderson with the serve. Oh, that ends up coming off, not off, and right off the top of the Ceiling here at Lancaster Court, Thornton Gymnasium. Uh, this Henderson, he's only a sophomore. He is really good. Here's Dwyer, quick set to McCormick. Komodo with a solo block. Six-three, just like set one. The Scarlet Hawks doubling up the Spartans here early on in set two. Dwyer looking for Carroll. The freshman with his second kill. McClellan with the serve. Dug out by Donald. That one hit right into both McCormick and Carroll that time. Falls in. 7-4. Here's Carroll. Nice dig that time by Cooper. Boy, Alex not off. Can never count out a ball anywhere when he's playing. 8-4. Here's McCormick with a big kill. 
Much needed side out for the Spartans. McCormick will get the serve. Five serving eight. Partially blocked up by Carol and Suzuki. Here's Sheros. Number four from Mateo. Six serving eight. Nice dig there by Late. Grant Cooper from beyond the attack line. Gives the side out. To Illinois Institute of Technology, right across the highway from Guaranteed Rate Field, home of the White Sox. There's Suzuki. This time this jump. Four point lead now for the Scarlet Hawks, 10 to six here in set two. Komodo with the serve. Reverses it to Carroll. And side out Spartans. Carroll's third kill tonight. Service errors are at a minimum so far. Spartans with three, two for IIT. 231 hitting percentage for Aurora, 271 for the Scarlet Hawks. Here's Carroll. And then right over the top of the block, IIT using power and finesse here tonight. Served by Johnson. Here's Suzuki, and he gets the running kill. That's his fourth. Team's 22nd kill of the night. Eight. Serving 11. Here's a serve by Sherosh. Set number two here in NAC semifinals. Nodoff keeps it alive. Here's Carroll. How many times have we seen that this season? And the door shut by Van Engen. Nodoff, the junior from Fountain Hills, Arizona. Possibly one of the best liberos in the country. And Carroll with another kill. That's his fourth. Nine serving 12. Nathan Anderson back to serve for Aurora. Down by three, nine serving 12 here in set two. Nice dig by Anderson, Dwyer McClellan. Number seven on the night. 10 serving 12, and here comes Aurora. Aurora taking set one, 25-23. A miscue, and the Spartans have a chance. Dwyer looking for McClellan again. Back to back, he's got eight. Absolute beast. You have to keep feeding him. He's got back-to-back -back kills. There's a serve by Anderson, down to a one-point lead. Van Engen closes the door and gives the Scarlet Hawks a very much needed side out. Henderson with five kills, Cooper with five, six for Van Engen and five for late. For a team total of 24. We knew IIT was good. The record doesn't dictate or indicate how good they really are. 
McCormick and Dwyer with the block. They'll move it to the other side. Nanoff out of nowhere keeps it alive. Here's Sherosh. Good volley between these two. Back over to the outside and Cooper. Getting a thumbs up from the Scarlet Hawk faithful that are here tonight. 14-11. Jackson Van Engen. Dwyer keeps it alive somehow. McCormick sends it over. They're going to move it back to the outside. Partially tipped by Dwyer. 15-11. Boy, Van Engen having a huge night. Seventh kill for Cooper. Here's McClellan. He's one shy of double digits. He's got nine. Luke Dwyer back to serve, down by three. 12 serving 15. 25-22 and digs in favor of the Scarlet Hawks. Dwyer sends that downrange, something the Heat does not do very often at all. Only the fourth service error for the Spartans tonight. Jump serve by Henderson. Here's Komodo, blocked up by McCormick. Back over the outside to Cooper. That one partially tipped. Here's McClellan. Non off, Dwyer, McCormick. He's got six. 13, serving 16. Reese Wojtroski. Blocked by McCormick and Carroll. And the Spartans now within two. Uh, Wyatrowski, this is what he does best. Komodo. And gives the Scarlet Hawks a side out and a three point lead. 297 hitting percentage for the Spartans, 290. Now for IIT. Ben Engen hitting percentage at 700. And McCormick gets number seven. John McCormick back to serve for the Spartans down by two, 15-17. Back over to the outside and hit over by late. Here's Carroll. He dumps it over. Scarlet Hawks have to send this one down range. Spartans with a chance. Here's Sherosh. Big swing, partially tipped at the net. Komodo, that one blocked. Suzuki and Carroll. Spartans down by one. 16, serving 17. Here's the serve by McCormick. Only the fifth service error of the night committed by the Spartans. Two point lead, 18 serving 16. Here's McClellan, he's got 10 already. 10 kills, four digs, a block assist, credited with 10 and a half points. Here's Carroll, the southpaw from Lions Township. That's an ace. And we are tied at 18. Connor Carroll. 
Well, that one's close to the net and deposited by Van Engen. That's number eight for the senior from Hubertus, Wisconsin. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Went to Germantown High School. Here's Eliza Johnson with the serve. Here's Sherosh. That one's going to count. 19-19. Tail Sherosh to serve. Oh, that one just missed. Six service error. By the Spartans, only two for IIT. Semi-finals. A shot to the NAC championship. Here's Dwyer. Who's he going to? Suzuki makes it 2020. That's his fifth kill. Number 31 for the Spartans. Lucas Meyer checking in. A lot of height on this team. Here comes Nathan Anderson. Junior from Sugar Grove, Illinois. Not too far away. Oh, you couldn't serve it up any better than that. Van Engen with number nine. And this seesaw match continues. Scarlet Hawks up by one, 21-20. Van Engen back to serve for the Scarlet Hawks. McCormick. Number eight for McCormick. 21-21. And timeout on the court. It's all knotted up 21 apiece here in set number two. Next semifinals live on athletics.edu. Timeout on the floor. Twenty-one, twenty-one. Luke Dwyer back to serve for the Spartans. All tied up here in set two. IT taking their first of two timeouts. Here's the serve by Dwyer. Spartans with a chance. Here's McCormick. Big blast dug out by Johnson. A miscue by the Scarlet Hawks. Give the Spartans a much, much needed one point lead with Dwyer still serving. Oh, that's too far over the net. McClellan able to get to it. Scarlet Hawks got to do something, and they'll send that one into the net. 23 21. Here's Dwyer. Back, non off, keeps alive. McClellan! A huge response. Timeout, Scarlet Hawks. Set point for the Spartans 24 21. And we come back, Spartans with a chance to take a two set to none lead. Here in the next semifinals, here in Athletics at Aurora.edu.
Set point, Luke Dwyer back to serve for Aurora. What an electric atmosphere here tonight. Oh, and a miscue by the Scarlet Hawks. Here's McClellan. Oh, McClellan. A little too much mustard on that hot dog that time. Wow. And he knows it. You can see it in his face. 22 serving 24. Paul Henderson, timeout Spartans. 24-22, Spartans with the lead. Timeout on the floor. IT serving to the Spartans. Set point when we come back in the next semifinals on athletics.aurora.edu. That point, Paul Henderson with the serve for IIT. Take by McClellan, here's McCormick. IIT keeps it alive, reverses it. Non off ready, here's Dwyer. McClellan, non off to Dwyer. Here's Carroll. Spartans up two sets to none, 25-22. The freshman from LaGrange, Illinois Lions Township gives the Spartans a two set to none lead. When we come back, Spartans looking to sweep the Scarlet Hawks when we come back.
Third set, ready to get underway. Spartans clawing out a two sets to none lead. Jelani Komodo back to serve for IT to start set number three. Here's Sherosh. And that one's wide. Here's McClellan. Unstoppable. Number 12 on the night. Sherosh back to serve, knotted up one apiece. Fight for it at the net. McClellan, Suzuki. Not off with a beautiful dig. Here's Carroll. That one blocked up by late and then dumped over quickly and nicely done by Eli Sherman the junior from Palatine Illinois here's Johnson Suzuki with another kill, ties it up to a piece. And an update from River Forest, MSOE takes a two sets to none lead against the number one seeded Dominican University Stars. Here's Suzuki, set up by Johnson, dig by Carroll. McCormick with another one, he's got nine on the night. Four hundred plus hitting percentage for John McCormick. Went to Naperville Central. I'm trying to remember what their mascot is. Used to play him in football at Downers North, and that one just misses. I thought maybe they were the Huskies. I'm just not exactly sure. Back in the day, there weren't so many high schools out in the Fox Valley area. Here's late. McClellan. What a show by McClellan. Here's Dwyer with the serve. Played at Brother Rice, home of the Crusaders. That one's long. Spartans up 5-3. Boy, you talk about a huge rivalry on Pulaski. It's Brother Rice and Marist. Anytime they get together, no matter what sport, that's an ace. 6-3, Aurora. Boy, when those two high schools get together, you better get your tickets early because there is standing room only with those two. And the kill this time to Cooper. That's a man on a mission, that's his eighth. Van Engen with nine leads the Scarlet Hawks, 13 for McClellan leads everyone here tonight. McCormick, oh he tried to reverse that time, he was a little bit out of sync. Five serving six, Jackson Van Engen. Sherosh with the dig, Dwyer to McCormick. Komodo keeps it alive and so do the Scarlet Hawks. Second chance, here's McClellan. What a night he is having. 
and the Spartans with a statement. That's his 14th kill and he'll get the serve. Oh, Carroll and McCormick had it blocked up, but ends up going out of play. Boy, another kill by the outsides of the Scarlet Hawks. Carroll, that's his sixth of the night. Cooper, for IT, just picked up his ninth kill. John McCormick. Spartans again with a chance for their ninth point. Here's McClellan. Dug out nicely by Henderson. And a kill from beyond the back line. Riley late with a blast. Boy, this is fun to watch. Some great collegiate volleyball here tonight. And that's going to be an ace for Grant Cooper. Second one of the night for IIT. Three for the Spartans, two for the Scarlet Hawks. Eight, eight. Here's the serve by Cooper. Third service error for the Scarlet Hawks tonight. Gives the Spartans a side out at a one point lead, 9-8. Connor Carroll, six kills, 294 hitting percentage. He's got a couple block assists to his credit also. Here's Komodo. This time to jump, and it's going to be a point, Spartans. Well, they're going to give that to IT. It's 9 9. Suzuki, that one went right off the noggin of Jackson Van Engen. Like I've said many times, good thing it's not the old style volleyballs. That one would hurt. Still a, sure that it still hurts, but my oh my. Here's Sherosh, 10-9, Spartans. Wide open again. Van Engem makes him pay. That's his 10th. Elijah Johnson, Fort Worth, Texas native. Here's Suzuki. Solo block that time by Riley Late. Gives the Scarlet Hawks a one point lead. Oh, we got a yellow card. I believe that was issued to IT Carroll with a kill. 11-11. Nathan Anderson with the serve. Anderson with an assist and two digs. More importantly, he's been part of this service crew that has been stellar. Dig by Johnson. Anderson ready. Here's Dwyer. McClellan way outside. Anderson keeps it alive. Dwyer does too, sends it to the back corner. Smart play by the freshman from Oak Lawn. 
12-11. Blocked up by Dwyer and McCormick. Here's McClellan. Unstoppable. Boy, the Spartans up by two, 13-11. Nice swing that time by Late. Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, Junior. Went to Chambersburg area high school. I just absolutely love the state of Pennsylvania. Even though traveling from one end of the state to the other takes forever. Dwyer ready for it as it rolls off the tape. Here's McClellan. Kept alive, partial tip at the net. Brought back to the outside. And that one hit the antenna. 14-12 Spartans. Dwyer with another nice serve, dug out by Donald. Paul Anderson with yet another kill. He's got six, team total of 37. Spartans hit it a 3.23 hitting percentage, 250 for IT. It's 13 serving 14. Fourth service error of the night. Swatrowski back to serve. Blocked up by McCormick and Sherosh. Able to shut down Paul Henderson that time. Gives the Spartans a three point lead. 16 13, timeout. IIT. They will have one left when we come back. Next semifinal. Spartans up by three here in set three. Looking to sweep the Scarlet Hawks tonight in advance to the team's first ever NAC championship. We'll be right back here in Athletics at Aurora.edu. Sixteen, thirteen, Spartans. Wachowski serving. Well, you got to give Grant Cooper and the Scarlet Hawks not giving up. Garrosh hits it a little bit too far over. And point. Spartans. One hits the top of the gymnasium going the wrong way. 
Oh, and it falls right in front of Sherosh and McCormick. Not off with the dig. Carroll with another kill. Carroll now with eight, 18, 15. Komodo blocked up by Sherosh and Suzuki. Here's Sherosh. Here's Carroll. Spartans up by four. Again, this time it was Meyer and Sasuski. That ball, oh, almost made it over. Here's Komodo. Here's Sherosh. It's going to be Cooper. Nanoff gets it. Fight for it at the net. Suzuki with an absolute blast. 2016. Out of nowhere, here's McClellan. By both these teams. McClellan keeps it alive somehow. Here's the Scarlet Hawks. And that one is wide, 21-16. Final timeout taken by the Scarlet Hawks. The Spartans can smell their first championship in program history. All they need is four points when we come back here in athletics.aurora.edu. Final timeout taken tonight by IIT here in set number three. Spartans up 21-16, five-point lead. Mateo Sherosh back to serve. Sophomore from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Sherosh right place at the right time. Spartans looking to collect. Not this time. It's a 13-14. Block brigade by Van Engen and late. Here. Oh, they're saying that was partially deflected. Another kill for McClellan. 22-17. That's number 16 for the sophomore from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. You talk about a great story. 
IT has to do something about it. How about McCormick and McClellan? Here's Dwyer. Carroll with the block. Anderson, McClellan. Anderson sets it over. Another block, McCormick, McClellan. Way outside, Spartans with a chance. Here's Dwyer, McCormick, Arnold with a big save. Johnson, Henderson, Anderson. Here's Sherosh. That one partially blocked at the net by Van Engen. Here's McClellan. Arnold with a big dig. Dwyer with a block. Carroll, Dwyer, McCormick. Oh, he didn't get all of it. And that one's long. 23-22, what a volley. Ethan Kane, the 6'8 sophomore middle blocker from O'Fallon, Missouri. In for John McCormick. 4th Zumwalt East High School. Here's the serve by Anderson. Match point for the Spartans. Match point for the Spartans to their first ever NAC championship. And the fans are on their feet. Here's a serve by Anderson. Oh, hits that one into the net. Eighth one of the night. 18th serve and 24. Riley late back to serve. It is match point and a ticket to the championship. Here's Carroll, oh, a double hit. Five point lead. Here's Riley late. Ticket to the championship for the Spartans. Here's McClellan, there it is! First ever trip to the championship for the Aurora University Spartans. Dominican down two sets to none. A lot can happen, but if the scores hold fast, your Aurora University Spartans would host Saturday at six if Dominican falls. And they're down two sets to none. Congratulations to head coach Dan Ames and all the assistant coaches. First ever championship for the Aurora University Spartans. Now we hope to be back here Saturday night. If not, either way, we are in the NAC championship first ever. Have yourself a good night, everybody. Thank you for tuning in on athletics.aurora.edu. Spartans sweep IIT tonight and advance to the NAC championship. Good night, everybody, and go Spartans.